the curtain has just come down at the 2021 Academy Award. Which movie impressed you the most? Is it the Korean film Minari that demonstrates indomitable and tentatious spirit? Or is it the Nomad Land from the best director Chloe Yi Zhao? Hi, my name is Priscilla. I am a real estate broker in GTA. Today, I will share with you the movie that saddens me the most. Last week, I watched The Father, starring Anthony Hopkins, who just won this year's Oscar Best Actor. I'm not a YouTuber for entertainment topic, so I won't talk about Anthony's remarkable acting in this film. Do not worry about my spoilers if you have not watched this film yet, because it neither has magnificent spectacle nor ups and downs plots. This film tells the story from the perspective of an old man who suffers from the Alzheimer's disease. It shows us the completely distorted time and space the old man sees due to his dementia and amnesia. The pain and sorrow that the old man and his family have to face strike the audience profoundly. I, for one, fallen speechless long after watching the film. I am familiar with Alzheimer's disease because some of the elderly members of my own family and my friends have suffered from Alzheimer's and passed away. The cruelty of Alzheimer's is that it slowly erodes the patient's mind and the body. The patient loses his memory gradually until he forgets his beloved ones. The family can only watch the patient getting worse and worse, but nothing can be done. Both of my parents are very healthy. They are very wise and knowledgeable and can still solve their high school granddaughter's mess at ease. Chatting with my parents is what I enjoy the most. Their wisdom is my most precious treasure. I cannot imagine how sad I would be if they had Alzheimer's disease. I believe many middle-aged people feel the same way as I do. Starting from last year, I began to donate to the Canada's Alzheimer's Society. Whenever I get a success referral for my real estate business, I will donate $500 to the York Region Alzheimer's Society in the name of the referral. This is the certificate issued to Lucas after he successfully referred his roommate who later bought a condo in downtown Toronto. I am very happy that I could serve such a worthy cause while providing high quality service to my clients. This is a greeting card sent from York Region Alzheimer's Society to Lucas. This vibrant sunflower is drawn by the York Region artist named Diane Stimor. But due to Alzheimer's disease, she has gradually lost her ability to paint. The Alzheimer's Society will use the donation in two ways. One is for research and development to cure disease. The other goes to the patients and their family members in the community who need the support the most. In the past, my donation only goes to R&D. Now I decide to take it to the next level. In addition to the successful referral, whenever I get a property listing in the York region cities and sell successfully, I will donate $200 to the York Region Alzheimer's Society in the name of the seller. And the money will go to those who need it the most in our community. Please help me to help the community fight against Alzheimer's disease.